the leader of Britain's opposition Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, has chosen a vocal critic of the government as one of his top advisors. Starting next week, columnist uh, Seamus Milne will be his new director of strategy and communications. Now, Milne used to work for the Guardian newspaper before he was offered a job as Corbyn's senior aide. He is well known for his left-wing views and he's also been a frequent guest here on RT and we've put together some of his statements on key international and political issues. Just as Al-Qaeda grew out of the Western War in Afghanistan in the 1980s, ISIS is the Frankenstein monster of the war on terror. The attempt to draw Ukraine into NATO and into the Western camp is at the heart of the crisis that's now being played out in the eastern part of the country. NATO has once again been at the heart of triggering conflict rather than containing it. There is a concerted um, drive, not just in Washington, but in other European capitals, including here in London, to talk up uh, the, the so-called Russian threat. He went from nowhere to a landslide victory, pulling in hundreds of thousands of people into the Labour Party at the same time, um, without any support in the, in the national media. Frankly, if the media were so convinced that Corbyn was unelectable, I don't think they'd be, you know, firing, you know, artillery at him day by day. Now, Milne's views have stirred some controversy and the British media was quick to criticize his appointment. Some headlines claim Corbyn has picked a man who once defended terrorism, while others branded Milne a former Stalinist, with one outlet apparently suggesting he will bring back Soviet times. And saying that Corbyn, for all the criticism against him, looks moderate compared to his new communications chief. Well, for more on uh, this, let's bring in anti-war activist Lindsay German. Thanks so much for joining us here, um, Lindsay. So is Seamus Millen a good pick as a top Labour advisor? Well, I think he's a very, uh, a very good choice. He's an extremely uh, well-respected journalist. He's uh, uh, very, very knowledgeable about foreign affairs. He's, he's written a book about the miners' strike, which is very well respected. So he's got a very wide range of knowledge. He was a Labour correspondent for a number of years on The Guardian before he, uh, he became a columnist. Um, he's got a lot of knowledge and it's, it's very, very useful, I think, for Jeremy Corbyn. He's also somebody, uh, as your package has said, who is, uh, who's on the left, who's uh, played a role in various meetings and protests and so on. And, uh, but, you know, that's bring... the very thing that's not to everyone's liking because, you know, some call his views a radical. Well, it depends what you mean by radical. I mean, some people might regard the neocons as radical. I think that when we look at what Seamus Milne is saying, it's true he's anti-war, he's uh, against nuclear weapons, he's got those sorts of politics. But those are also Jeremy Corbyn's politics. And Jeremy Corbyn got elected uh, with a very big... Uh, majority as Labour leader just over a, a month ago. So I think it's absolutely right that he appoints somebody like Seamus Mill. And of course, the people who don't like it are the people, by and large, who've defended wars, who've uh, justified the various bombings that the British government has been involved in, who support the Israelis uh, against the Palestinians. And these are people who don't, who don't appreciate uh, what Seamus Milne will be saying. But I think for many, many people in this country, it will be his views will chime with many of their views. But what about the media and its reaction to this appointee? I mean, um, look at um, the articles and the headlines, and uh, it seems that the media was very quick to call uh, Corbyn's new appointee a Stalinist and even a terrorist defender. So um, was that a, perhaps a premature reaction? Shouldn't they wait to see uh, the real results first and then criticize him? Well, I think the problem with the, with the media in, in this country is that it is, it's fairly overwhelmingly and unremittingly right-wing. It doesn't deal with serious arguments. I mean, the fact that he's called a, a defender of terrorism when actually he's very, very far from that position, but at the same time doesn't support the so-called war on terror, which of course has, has had one impact, which is to increase the level of terrorism in the Middle East and elsewhere in the world. This is what they don't like. And uh, uh, the, the media has been unremittingly hostile to Jeremy Corbyn from day one. Seamus Milne's 
role, as I see, will be to counter some of this hostility in the media and actually try to deal with serious debates and arguments uh, in the British media, which would be uh, which would be a challenging task, but one that I think he's very much up to. Mm. Now, uh, of course, it might still be early days uh, to make any speculations or predictions, but what do you think uh, Mel will bring to the Labour Party? I think it will bring a, a great deal of knowledge. A great deal. Uh, Seamus Milne is also a very conscientious journalist. He's a, he's extremely well respected because of that. that he's very knowledgeable, but he also um, he doesn't just write his opinion. He checks facts, and he's he's he, he's got a very good record on this kind of thing. But particularly on foreign policy, I think it will be a strengthening of Jeremy Corbyn's uh, position, and I think it will be a strengthening of uh, of the getting across some of the complex questions to do with the war in Syria, uh, to do with Afghanistan, to do with the Middle East in general, to do with the situation with NATO and Eastern Europe, all of these, I think Seamus Mill will add something very, very substantial. All right, Lindsay German, thank you so much for talking to us and sharing your thoughts with thank our TV you. National.